the Pixel 2 XL has been called the best Android phone you can buy. But there were some serious issues with the display at launch. More than a month later, is the screen still an issue or have these problems been sorted out? Stick around and you'll find out. The Pixel 2 XL has really great design, the latest stock Android, and what's probably the best smartphone camera out there. This thing should have been an unqualified hit for Google, but instead, most of the talk since launch has been about the screen, and none of it's been good. There have been at least five discrete issues with this display, some more significant than others. But all of these issues have left a lot of users and reviewers wondering if the asking price for this phone is justified if the most important component which is the screen, falls short. We're going to take a closer look at the five issues that are most talked about. That's blue shift, burn-in, color space, grain, and unresponsive edges. All right, let's get to it. Problem number one is blue shift. You're going to notice this the minute you power up the Pixel 2 XL for the first time. If you view the screen from any sort of angle, instead of straight on, the colors are going to immediately shift and the screen is going to tint blue. And the greater the angle, the more extreme the tint. And this is really obvious against whites or grays like those in the launcher or the browser. So what causes blue shift? Well, the Pixel 2 XL uses an OLED display and off-axis color shift is a common characteristic of all OLED. But it's a lot more extreme on this phone than it is on other phones that use OLED. Why? Well, it comes down to the fact that LG manufactures the panel in this phone as opposed to Samsung. LG makes great OLED TVs, but their smaller panels just aren't very good. You'll see the same blue shift using LG's V30, for example, which unsurprisingly also uses an LG manufactured display. The Samsung S8, uh, S8 Plus, and the Note 8 all use panels made by Samsung, of course, and so does the iPhone 10. And those phones don't suffer from blue shift anywhere near as badly. Is there a fix? Nope. This is a hardware problem through and through, and it can't be fixed with a software update. Google would have to start using a different panel, but it doesn't look like they're prepared to do that. Their statement on the issue hardly even acknowledges it's a problem. The slight blue tint is inherent in the display hardware and only visible when you hold the screen at a sharp angle. All displays are susceptible to some level of color shift, for example, red, yellow, blue, when viewing from off angles due to the pixel cavity design. Similar to our choice with a cooler white point, we went with what users tend to prefer and chose a design that shifts blue. So is this something you can live with? Considering the blue shift on its own, I think so. It's glaringly obvious at first, but it's something I got used to quickly and I think you're gonna stop noticing it after a few days. Problem number two is burn-in, rather early or accelerated burn-in. See, all OLED panels suffer from some degree of burn-in. That means images that are displayed on the screen in the same place for long periods of time can leave a visual imprint. When the Pixel 2 XL was first launched, there were reports of burning after just a week or two of use, which is really unusual. The problem was most commonly reported in the area of the navigation bar at the bottom of the screen. Here, by displaying a light colored image at full screen, you can clearly see the faint outline of the back, home, and recent buttons. Their fix was a software update that made a number of changes. First, the navigation bar buttons now fade out after a short period of inactivity. Second, the navigation bar should now match the color scheme of more apps. And third, Google's reduced the maximum brightness of the screen by 50 nits, a change it says should be imperceptible. For what it's worth, my Pixel 2 XL, which has the latest software update, shows no signs of burn-in after more than two weeks of use. There's eventually going to be burn-in, there always is with OLED, but early or accelerated burn-in is no longer an issue. Problem number three has to do with the screen's color space. Early on, people noticed that the Pixel 2 XL display was dull compared to what we're used to seeing from other OLEDs. Stacked up against the S8 and the iPhone 10, for example, the display on the Pixel 2 XL showed less contrast and it was less vibrant. So as far as Google's concerned, this wasn't a problem. It was a feature. They say the muted colors are the result of their desire to tune the screen for color accuracy rather than vibrancy. Despite this, there's now a fix. Google released a software update at the beginning of November, which added an option to turn off the managed color space, which would allow for more vibrant and saturated colors. 
In announcing this update, Google said, We've received some feedback about the Pixel 2 XL displays not appearing as saturated as other phones. We attribute this perception to our choice to calibrate the Pixel 2 XL for delivering natural, accurate colors, taking advantage of the new color management support in Android 8.0 Oreo. The colors will be more saturated and vibrant after the update, but less accurate, similar to most other smartphones which display more vibrant colors. We give consumers the option to choose the color saturation. That's their spin at least. The new settings can be accessed under Settings, Display, Advanced, where you can change from the default natural color space to boosted for a small injection of color and saturated to really jack up the contrast. While I'm giving this a check mark as fixed, I personally found that even with the colors boosted, the colors on the Pixel 2 XL are less appealing than on other phones. Specifically, pictures with strong colors that I took with the phone's excellent camera could look garish when viewed on the phone's display. The fourth problem with the screen is a brown grain that makes the display appear muddy. This was documented early on and in detail by the website Ars Technica. It's almost like a film grain and it can make the screen seem dirty. The grain's most obvious in a dark room with the screen brightness set to zero, but you can make it out in most lighting conditions, particularly when you put it side by side with another phone. Ars found it really jumped out when scrolling, saying that the text moves, but the layer of grain remains stationary. Has this been fixed? Like the blue shift, this is a flaw in the panel that can't be addressed with a software update. So understandably, Google just hasn't commented on this. Personally, I can see the grain if I look for it. It's undeniably there, but it's not something I've noticed in day-to-day -day use, and I don't find it especially distracting. So like the blue shift, considering this problem on its own, it's something you can live with. Problem number five is unresponsive edges. The screen on the Pixel 2 XL seems less responsive to touch along the upper right edge. The cause isn't clear, but there's speculation that this might have to do with overeager edge detection intended to prevent accidental taps when you grip or squeeze the phone. My handset does seem a bit less sensitive in this area, but it's hard for me to say definitively whether I'm experiencing this problem. Is there a fix? Well, there will be shortly. Google's acknowledged that this is an issue, and they say they're gonna fix it in an upcoming software update, but there's no word yet on when that update is coming. <sighs> That's a long list of problems, and those five, those aren't even all of the issues that have been reported. They're just the ones that are the most talked about. Each of them, on their own, they're probably things you can live with, but keeping in mind how important the display is when deciding which smartphone to buy, all these issues cropping up together, it's a deal breaker. Google, to its credit, was responsive. It's already fixed or will soon issue fixes for three of the five problems we just reviewed. So the screen's considerably better today than it was at launch. And if this was a less expensive mid-range phone, the screen would be totally adequate. The problem comes when you consider value for money. The Pixel 2 XL is an expensive phone, but its display is deficient in a lot of ways and it's undeniably worse than what you get when you spend similar money on an iPhone or a Samsung. So you're just not getting what you've paid for, and that's a feeling I just haven't been able to shake. If you decide to go ahead and buy a Pixel 2 XL anyway, there's a bit of a silver lining. Acknowledging concerns with the display, Google's extended the manufacturer's warranty from one to two years. It's also removed the 79 and 99 US dollar deductibles for customers who bought the preferred care plan. There's no question that Google's trying to take care of its customers here. Still, the better choice might be to choose the smaller but almost identical Pixel 2, which has a much better screen, or wait until next year's XL when Google can hopefully, finally, marry otherwise stellar hardware and the best camera in the business with a screen the phone deserves. So, what do you think? Do you agree with me that these issues are a deal breaker, or do you still think the Pixel 2 XL is a solid buy despite them? Whether you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear back from you. In the meantime, please like the video, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications because it really helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.